when to bring the mind to the breath. You have to re keep remembering to stay here, because it's so easy to forget. The nature of the mind is that it tries on one suit of clothes and then throws them away. Tries on another one, throws them away. You want to put on one suit of clothes, which is the breath. Don't go into any, any other dimensions right now. The dimensions of your thoughts, past, future. Just let them be. You want to stay right here, surrounded by the breath, bathed by the breath, clothed in the breath, all around you. We say sometimes to watch the breath, which can give an unfortunate sense that you're in one part of the body watching the breath in another part of the body. So instead, tell yourself, feel the breath. All the way in, all the way out, try to be as sensitive as possible. The different parts of the body that tend to get ignored. That survey of the body that I sometimes do with the guided meditation. Make sure you do that at least once a day. Go through the body section by section to make sure nothing gets ignored. If you find that it helps, visualize the organs of the parts of the body where you're focused. So that the visual part of your imagination has something to do. But otherwise, you want to develop the sense of tactile sensation inside, or proprioception, your sense of your body as you feel it from within. You've got to explore it. We don't have much of a vocabulary for it in English. In Thailand, they talk about the different elements. There's earth, which is solidity, wind, which is the breath, movements, energy, water, coolness, fire, heat. Then there's space, and then there's consciousness. Try to be aware of these different ways of relating to the body. Notice where the earth seems most prominent, where the fire seems most prominent. And you can play with them. Think of the warmth spreading throughout the whole body, or the coolness spreading throughout the whole body as you need it. When you're feeling too lightheaded, think of earth. When you're feeling depressed and down, think of the breath lifting you up. You have these potentials inside. And because we don't talk about them that much, we don't make much use of them. But think about them. You've got this body here, this sense of the body, and you've been with it for a long time. How well do you know it? I know in my own case, and I've been doing this for almost 50 years. It'll actually be 50 years at the end of next month. I still keep finding new things about the breath, about the different energies in the body. So there's always a lot to learn. It may not come as quickly as you'd like. But remember the image of the hunter. The hunter knows where the game tends to be. But he can't make an appointment with him, say, come by by 2 o'clock so I can get something back home by 4, so we can have dinner by 6. He goes there and he stays and has to be quiet and observant. At the same time, if you're too quiet, you fall asleep and the animals go right under your nose and you don't know they're there. If you're too active, you make noise and they chase them away. So if you want to see what's going on here, you have to be very, very quiet and very, very alert. Learn how to develop that combination. They say that the various skills of primitive tribes, the hardest one to learn is hunting, especially for people who've come from a, a Western background. We've learned how to desensitize ourselves to the body as we feel, feel it from within. So now we've got to resensitize ourselves and develop these qualities of patience and alertness together. Learn how to talk to yourself to keep you from keep yourself from getting bored. Keep yourself engaged. Ask questions. You can hear, you can think of Dogen. When he, when he talks about just sitting, it doesn't mean you just sit there like a lump. You ask questions. What is the mind in the body? Is the body in the mind? What's watching what inside? Who's talking to whom inside? In other words, you see that there are lots of questions you can ask about you sitting here right now. And a lot of the practice is about learning which questions are fruitful and productive and which ones you can put aside. But see this as an opportunity to explore. 
You're not just forcing the mind to stay with the assembly line of in, out, in, out. There are lots of things to explore here, lots of potentials that you can develop. When you have that attitude so toward the day, then you find that instead of being a long day, the day gets shorter and shorter. as you approach in the right way.